Ooh, look at this. Fancy. So fancy. The staircase, the waterfall. The music playing, the classical music. And I think Bark is down here. Corners. Ah, I think I found it. I think this is it. Wow. Hello. Hi. I have a reservation, 7.30? 7.30? Yes. Under the demo? Max or room 903? Whichever works best. Uh, or Maxwell, one person. One person. Please. Yes. Which table you like? The entire restaurant for you. Oh, really? It's all yes. I get to choose. Yes, sir. you get to choose. Maybe I should do the romantic corner with please two come. seats. Please I like the romantic corner, two seats. <laughs> What's your name, brother? Sir. What's your name? My name is Thomas. Thomas. Yes, Max, sir. nice to meet you. Sir. But you probably knew that. Uh, thank you, Thomas. Thank you. I've been so excited to eat here. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Are you room, from the room temperature, mineral water is fine? That's perfect. Water? Nah, this is fine. fine. Nowadays, weather also not good. Right, good for the stomach, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> room temperature is more better. Right. Are you from Delhi? Actually, my hometown is Kerala. Okay, I don't know. I've been wanting to go, man. Yeah, it's foodie, Kerala? foodie, not yet, but foodie state. Yeah, that is a, Kerala is a goat's own country. Right, right, right. You got kind of like the brownishes, you got the reds. And then out here is the pool. I'm hoping I can go to the pool tomorrow because, you know, I come to India, it's a whole lot of eating and uh, not a lot of working out. Uh, Okay. This is a la carte menu. Okay. This is a chef's signature menu also. Chef's, chef's signature. Chef's signature menu. Okay. This is basically five course menu. Okay. The entire course vegetarian, non-vegetarian option is there. Starter, mm -hmm. then kebab, okay. then soup, okay. then main course, then desserts, okay. and then tea coffee also. This is a complete meal. I want that. You yeah, I want that. Certainly. You can yeah. This is a course bake course. Can I get the crab? First okay, course? perfect. Second course, can I get the um, drumstick leaves? Okay, drumstick Sorry, leaves. Uh, jasmine and ginger prawn tikka. Okay. Third course soup, which soup do you like? Drumstick uh, leaf soup or chicken soup? I've never had drumstick leaf before. Let's try that. Drumstick leaf soup. Okay. Then you, you like uh, main course, fish, chicken, or uh, vegetarian also. Paneer haramasa. So that is a homemade cottage cheese with some melted cottage cheese. If you go for the chicken, if you like chicken, you can do the Okay, we'll just do the chicken curry, that's okay. Chicken curry, then I will comment. Perfect. Thank you so much. Any allergies or dietary preferences? No, man, I'm all good. Our food is a medium spicy only. Medium spicy is fine? Whatever chef recommends. Sure. I'm not foreigner though, I like spicy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Our food is a medium spicy only. Okay, perfect. If you want some drinks, beverages, you can take the wild list is there. I will look. Thank you so much. Man, Thomas, man, you're a professional. Thank you so much. You're the best, man. Nice. Wow, what a guy. He just like blew my mind with all the knowledge. So much fun, guys. I've been wanting to get here. Check out the wine list with me. Uh, actually, you know I could go for? A good old Kingfisher. Let's see what they got. That right there. Ooh, I got Kingfisher in, Kingfisher Ultra. We might just have to go Kingfisher. I'm excited for this. So I'm going to try this out. And then tomorrow I'm going to Indian Accent. I can't film an Indian Accent, but I'm going to make a nice real for y'all so you can still check it out. You're just gonna have to go to my Facebook. I just wanna say thank you for clearing up your your schedule tonight to come have dinner with me. You know, sometimes being alone can be lonely. So it's nice to have you here. You know, I've thought long and hard about it. I've thought, I've thought long and hard about it. Can I have one of your finest Kingfishers? Kingfisher Premium. We have two kingfisher. One is a kingfisher premium, and another one is a kingfisher ultra. Ooh. I guess let me start with premium, and I'll probably do ultra later. Certainly. First, uh, I get the kingfisher premium. Yes. Yeah, so let's start with that. Certainly. Namaste, Baya. <laughs> Good. How are you? So uh, this is your small ambush mousse. Ambush mousse. So, so yeah. So it's a explosion yogurt. Okay. So basically, this is open your palate. Okay. It's uh, algae water, uh -huh. a little bit of uh, some chaat masala. Black salt, cumin powder. Nemo. Uh, so it's open your palate. Sir. Right, perfect. <laughs> okay, so this is like the, the palate starter gets the hunger going. Yeah. I try, to, I try this before beer or after beer? Before beer. Before beer, okay. Let's try it out. Thank you. Mm. 
it literally does explode in your mouth. Man, very yogurty, very nice. Oh, you get the that black salt and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Touch of masala. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Is this fine? Yeah, man, that it's good looking Kingfisher. Yeah. <laughs> Are you from Delhi? Yes. Sir. Okay, Yogesh. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you, Yogesh. I'm from Delhi itself. Yeah. From, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Butter, butter, butter. I got gotcha. you. Nearby UP. Right. And okay, wow. Oh no, it doesn't want to open. Yeah. There it goes. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, brother, man. We'll have a good night. Oh, I gotta take the whole plate. <laughs> okay. Cheers, y'all. Kingfisher Premium. And it starts. The worky crab. Okay. So the crab meat cooked in Madras curry powder, coconut milk, and curry leaves. Mm -hmm. The cumin flavored balsamic vinegar. Okay. Thai chili and garlic. Oh my gosh. This is a turmeric flavored crispy filo sheet. Right. We put some uh, carom seeds also. Man. That is good for stomach. <laughs> you know when it's crab when it comes out here. It's a lot of crab. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Please boss. Thank, Thank you. you. Look at this, y'all. A lot of crab, turmeric, little crispy bits going on here. This is a gorgeous dish right here. I think this is gonna crunch like crazy when I go through it. It kind of looks like, I mean, it reminds me of almost like a lasagna the way it's built like this because you almost got those pasta style layers. This kind of looks like a ricotta cheese. Let's go for, you know, a money bite right off the bat. Let's start this the right way. I got the crispy turmeric filled middle. Got all the other stuff right here. Mm. That is beautiful. It's like a texture of a ricotta cheese. You get a little bit of bitterness from the turmeric, the cumin. Balsamic vinaigrette has a gorgeous flavor, a little chili heat in there, but mainly it is a crab overload. The saltiness level is perfection. Mm. I haven't even been to Kerala, but when I take a bite of this, I can hear the waves crashing. I can see and feel the palm trees smell, the fresh seafood. But yet, it has this slightly familiar lasagna texture and feel to it. Mm. How is this tattoo? It was incredible. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I kind of just want to lick my plate. But I think I should show some restraint and dignity. Dig dignity. Whatever that word is. Is the chef from Delhi? Where's the chef from? Where's the chef from? Chef, actually nowadays, uh, very young chef, master chef, chef Aditya Murli Shankar mm. from Bangalore. Oh, he's from ba so Bangalore. He's oh, okay. looking after this restaurant. Okay, good to know. Actually, this restaurant is a mother of modern Indian restaurant. Mm -hmm. so, normally, Indian food comes in a bowl, then we will share. Right. But this food comes in a pre plate. Uh, chef will artistically present the food. Exactly. One portion of one person only. That is the concept. Okay. We have our master chef, Chef Kerman Dobroi. Yeah. He's a corporate chef. This concept, this restaurant. Okay. We started with 2008. Right. This is the actually mother of modern Indian restaurant. Okay. Nowadays, two, three restaurant is there. The diffusion type of restaurant is there. Mm -hmm. But this is the mother of modern Indian restaurant. Okay. Where's the head chef now, or the chef that started this? Where is he now? Huh? Where is the chef now that started this? This is Chef Hemant Dobroi. Okay. Chef Hemant Dobroi, he is the, our corporate chef. Okay. Nowadays, he is retired. Okay. He's oh, he's retired our already. own restaurant in Dubai. And Abu Dhabi also. Ah, okay, gotcha. What's your favorite fa favorite Delhi food for you? So my Delhi favorite food is if you heard the name, in vegetarian, it's a kulle. Oh yeah. It's a potato thing. Yeah. I don't think I've had that one. So you'll not find it anywhere. It's okay. Especially made in streets. Thank you, Baya.
Oh, good save. <laughs> Can't spill the mint chutney. Please enjoy your problems. If we get cold, so I'll talk to you. Yeah, we will talk about food later. Okay, I think it's pretty self-explanatory in here. You get the prawns. Man, the jar on them is so aromatic. And have you seen the size of these? These suckers are about as big as my fist. But I'm just gonna get some of that mint chutney on it. Cut me off a little piece. <laughs> just kidding, I didn't need to cut that at all. That just falling off. Look at this. Look at that, it's just falling apart. Get a little bit of that yellow sauce here. Mm. Wow. I don't know if I've ever had a prawn have the texture the way this does. It almost, I don't know if I would guess it would be a prawn besides the flavor because the texture is just absolutely incredible. Just a nice little grilled up piece of flatbread at the bottom as well. I'll use my hands to show y'all. This is like half the prawn. That's still like half of it here. I don't know what type of steroids prawns they're pulling out of the ocean over here, but this is incredible. This is more, this is more prawn meat than I've had on lobster before, which you wouldn't get prawn meat off a of lobster now, would you, Max? But you kind of get what I'm going for there, right? I mean, look at this. Look at that prawn there. <laughs> that is incredible. This is a very old beer. In India, I think about 50 years. Yeah, it's pretty old, isn't it? It's yeah. like the beer. Yeah, the king fisher is the king. Right. <laughs> That's right. I didn't see any toddy on the menu, so I had to go kingfisher. Kingfisher is a king, I'm a... Oh. This is a, actually cappuccino style. This yeah, I was about to say. Leaf soup. This is a froth, it's a cuscus froth. You put some garnish with the curry leaves. Okay. Curry leaves are South Indian herbs. Wow. This is a cappuccino style. <laughs> <laughs> tea soup, cappuccino tea soup. This is cool. I feel like it should have no handle and then just be like chai. It should be chai tea soup. Cheers y'all, got a little foam here. <laughs> Curry leaves on top. I'm not 100% sure how to go after this. Mm. I feel like going really Indian style in this. <laughs> Southern India is what I'm going for here. It's light, almost like a sambar. It kind of reminds me of sambar, the way it's got that spicy, that sour. It goes down your throat and it helps expand your stomach a little bit. This has got to be like the halfway point. It's almost like a palate cleanser. Oh, wow. Sorbet. Yeah. Thank you. What flavor sorbet is this? Mango. Beautiful. The famous Indian mango sorbet. Look at this. It just keeps going. That liquid nitrogen. Would not stop. Come up here closer. Oh, <laughs> it's been in there, it's hard. Mm, you can only pull off a little bit at a time. Ooh. Honestly, after that drumstick leaf soup, I feel like this is what I need. Very sour, flavorful mango. Ooh. Wow. There's almost a bitterness to it as well. It's chicken. Oh, it's the chicken. Okay. Chicken curry. Ooh, hot plate. Okay, is this dal mukni? Similar to dal makhni. Okay, very similar. Yeah, uh, these are uh, other roast. It's a potato roast. Roast potato. Roasted potato. How do you see a curry leaf on top right there? Oh, there's still more. Uh, these are breads for you. Okay. Uh, non bread or it's what kind garlic. of bread? It's non. Garlic non? It's garlic for you. 
This is garlic flavor now. Okay, beautiful. This is glistening. Oh, jolly pulao. Beef pulao? Yes, beef pulao. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, Please. so much. <laughs> Thank you, bye. This is like a four course meal in one course. I'm gonna move you out to this side so we got more room. I hope I didn't get chicken curry all up on my sleeve here. This vibrant, this vibrant red color though, is the definition of fall off the bone. <laughs> a little garnish here. Look at this. This red color is gorgeous. I'm going over the rice. So y'all can see I'm using the rice as protection. Don't worry. I can smell that basmati rice already. The nuttiness from it. Mm. You know, I wanted to take a bite before the naan because I just wanted to appreciate the curry. And for me, honestly, wow, they bring the heat. That is nice. That kind of woke me up, kind of got, got me perking a little bit right there. When I eat like outside on the streets, I love it for its oiliness, its richness, but I appreciate, wow, this almost looks like a lavash. It's so thin and so crispy. I appreciate this chicken curry not being too oily. I like that it's spicy. I like that they're really focused on the spices and the quality of spices and not overloading you with the oil. Cause I want something different in a restaurant like this. And with that garlic naan, that is instantaneous garlic breath perfect amount of ghee layered on it. It's crispy, it's light. Mm. Now for the, the doll one, definitely gonna put that naan back in there. These potatoes, I think I'm just gonna go in for a scoop. Potato scoop right here. They've been roasted before. They got that mallard effect on it, that little browning. Today has been the greatest potato day of my life. Wow. Let's go right here. Get a little more. That non peeled off while it's still warm. I'm gonna go with a little boat method. Look at that cream on top. Look at that thickness. Look at that, it stays in place in the non. Using the black doll, the black doll. If you know what's up with the black doll, you already know there's gonna be a umami packed bite. It's the way they hit you in all these different ways. You start out with the chicken curry, heavy on the spices, red chili, spicy, and then you, they bring you in. Garlic breath naan, crunchy. The, the umaminess, the creaminess from the potatoes, the, the black doll, like the makmi. And now we still got the beef pulao. Okay, perfect. Lemon leaf naan. Lemon leaf naan. Yes, sir. Oh man, first time I've ever seen. That looks so Should good. I serve it? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Do whatever you like, brother. So this is lemon leaf naan right here. Look at that green color. Thank you, my Thank you. Oh, sweet. Ooh. I can't smell anything besides that ghee right there. Let's go back in the creamy stuff. Again, using the rice to protect the Wow. Yeah, that's, I've never seen anything. And you know what's funny, he told me, and then once I took a bite, I was like, oh, I could have guessed what that is. I should order a different bread also? No, it's okay, don't worry, I have plenty. I have plenty, don't worry. Yes, you can order in the curry if you want. I can put the rice in the curry. If you want, I can give you a separate plate if you want, rice, you want to eat rice itself. No, I'll take a bite and then I'll put the rest in. If you want to, should I get a plate for you also? It's okay, boss, I'm, I'm easy. <laughs> I'm, I'll be your easiest customer tonight. Oh, <laughs> Thank you so much. And let's get into it. You see all the chickpeas in here. Mm. That's good. But I think when we marry it with the curry, is where it's gonna be at. Actually, when you eat that 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 
that rice dish, it's almost like a mushroom gravy mixed with that basmati style rice, nutty, fragrant rice that soaks in all that flavor. This last serving here, I tell you what, picking your favorite is like trying to pick your favorite child you've ever had. It's always the last one. Every time I have black gall, I think it may be my favorite. It's so funny growing up in America. I didn't even know there was black doll. And you had yellow, green, red, and you come to this part of the world, they're like, black doll. And you're like, what? Black doll, and you eat it, and you're like, oh my gosh, where have you been all my life? I know some of y'all watching this, y'all some potato kids. And what I mean is, when you're a kid, and mom asks what you want for dinner, I say, mom, I just want some potatoes. I don't care if they're fried. I don't care if they're stir fried. I don't care if they're baked. I don't even care if you microwave them. I just want some potatoes. If you're that type of kid, you're my type of friend. Mm. Oh, you good food? Man, did I order five courses for or for a family of five? Okay. That's a lot of food. <laughs> it's delicious, man. Taste the whole thing. I guess the lemon leaf. This is a lot lemon leaf naan. Is that is a love that. We put some kafila lemon leaf juice. Man, the kafir lime leaf. Beautiful. No, man. The potatoes, the dal, the kafir lime leaf. It's all beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is the three, right? Yeah, three different different of uh, sweets. Okay. So first one is uh, orange flavored quinoa kheer. Oh, this is the kheer, right? Yeah, <laughs> quinoa. So uh, top of some pista. Mm -hmm. You know, already is pista. Uh, okay. Yeah, pista is a uh, dry food. Right, right, right. And uh, second one is a jalebi. It's a fennel fennel cake. Right. It's jalebi. Yeah. Indian uh, famous uh, sweets. Oh yeah. Jalebi, and based on some kalakan. Uh, this is a stuffed blueberry crisp with the crispy pillow seed. Oh, so there's blueberry in here. Uh, in, inside some uh, stuffed blueberry. Okay. And based on some uh, reduced milk. And this is also this is reduced milk and some sugar, which is made of... Uh, is this like rubbery or is yeah, this... Rubbery, like, rubbery, oh, rubbery, rubbery. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rubbery. It's like rubbery, okay. Perfect. Our restaurant name, V-A-R-Q, work with the silver or gold leaf. You know, okay. Or your edible. Okay. And uh, choco powder and cinnamon powder. Sir. Ooh, okay. So our restaurant is a signature uh, dessert. Perfect, thank Please you. Enjoy. Thank you, you guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's go here. So, this is the kheer, but it's a quinoa, an orange kheer. I see some pistachio, and he said dried fruit. Okay, so let's get after this quinoa, rubbery, with the orange pistachio and some dried fruit here. Wow. Definitely tastes like kheer. But with the, the quinoa, because the quinoa is a little bit more of a smaller grain than what you get with the rice. I guess you gotta break up the rice anyway, so it makes sense. It has more of a wheat flavor to it since it is that couscous and not rice. And I love wheat. Mm. The orange in it is mellow, it's aromatic, it's floral. It helps combine with that sweetness so it's not overpowering. Oh wow. Well, I'm not like an orange fruit guy either but this is absolutely divine wow is it is it okay to eat jalebi by hand in fine dining I hope so Ooh. look at it almost looks like a big piece of like Indian sweet on the bottom of it as well <laughs> It's like a burfi at the bottom. It's like burfi, the jalebi. Wow. Honestly, <laughs> it's just as good as the old famous jalebi down in Chandi Chok. I may be back tomorrow just for dessert. <laughs> And last thing we got, again, I'm going to go hands, the rubri at the bottom. So cook down milk, so it kind of solidifies up with lots of sugar. You got like the packaged blueberry with a very thin, thin wrapper of something. Let's scoop it all up. 
I think it's one biter. Ooh. I've never had anything like that last one. I mean, it is blueberry, a salt, it's crunchy. It's a phyllo dough. It's practically a phyllo dough wrapped with this warm blueberry filling in this sweet, sweet, rubbery at bottom. That was fun. While the, the food is delicious, it's something I've never had before. It's nothing without the servers. Everybody. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. They all made the night. So this is your roast tea. A roast tea. So good for your digestive also. Bro, I need it. Man, that was a lot. And this is the man, the wine specialist. I'm coming back just to try your wines. <laughs> Thank you. It's kind of the funny things you eat in here. You don't realize like how fancy they are. This is Himalayan rose petals in water. That's it. Mm. Feeling fancy. My pleasure. Yeah, my pleasure. So nice to meet so, you. We'll see you quite often now. Yeah, every time I'm back in Delhi. Please, so we'll Thank you so much. Nice Thank you. Hey, perfect. Thank y'all so much, y'all. This is my pleasure. It's a, and we remember you whenever you come. Hey, I'll hold you to that too. I'll hold you to that. I will definitely remember you, and you remember my name, Mohit. Okay, and Mohan. Mohan. Mohit. 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 M O H I T. M O H I T. Okay, Mohit. And your thank name, you please. Max. Mr. Max. Okay. We will we'll never forget. Okay, thank you. Thank you, my brothers. Thank you, Bia. Bye, bye, ya. Thank you, bye, ya. I screwed it up. Y'all, that was incredible you saw them like you know it's one thing to have delicious food it's another thing to have servers like that which make it just an unforgettable experience i hope y'all enjoyed it from you know the streets are fun but so is stuff like this you want to appreciate everything india has to offer from being in the streets the local and the dabas to places like this we will catch you at the next one so max see you later